gets into the record books. Tonight, Portland police say last month was the worst month for gang shootings in 16 years. There were three shootings yesterday alone. That brings the total to 25 for the month. In response, Portland police are adjusting schedules to have more resources for the afternoon shift. That's the time when most of these shootings happen. Chris Woodard joins us now live with how some directly impacted by gang violence are stepping up to put an end to it, Chris? Yeah, and this is something that affects everyone. These are our communities. And on top of that, lately, these people have been shooting into crowds of innocent people in broad daylight. And police fear it's only a matter of time until someone not involved at all is hit. But the quickest way to stop this may not have anything to do with the police at all. You gonna go that way? Okay, I go, uh, I go this way. Two mothers. I know, right? <laughs> there, there we go, there we go, there we go, yeah! <laughs> Two women fighting to make a difference. Yeah! <laughs> Their former gang members, frightened by the 25 gang shootings they've seen in Portland over the last month, moved to get outside today after three shootings over the weekend, holding signs asking for peace. Feeding off the honks of support. Yeah, yeah. Just the beginning of what they're trying to accomplish. I'm tired of seeing that, and I'm, I'm tired of them taking away my streets. I can't even go to the park. They formed the group Neighborhoods Against Violence, and the type of thing they're doing is exactly the kind of help Portland police say they need to stop this alarming rise in gang violence, holding summer camps for at risk kids, raising money to help kids join sports teams, pay for schooling, anything to steer them away from gang life. As former gang members, they hope they have a unique message for kids. And if you don't want to work the police, work with somebody who understands what you're feeling, understands how you felt at one point in time in our lives. And let's make a difference in a different way. Let's, let us show you a different way to make, uh, make a success out of yourself. This is about all of us working together. Their group, agree with that, not the only the one fighting. Me, it takes a village to raise our child. And it's going to take all of us working together. Lori Palmer was pushed into action after her son was shot in January. And she's standing by him today, hoping others won't have to go through what they are. It's out of control. And if we don't get a handle on it, we're going to have a bloodbath by the time the summer comes. And it's already happening. She's formed the group Go Get Your Child with the goal of helping parents understand the role they need to play in stopping their child from getting involved in gangs. She knows police need parents' help. They need people just like us, because those are our kids in the street that's doing that, for us to go out and talk to them, because they will listen to us faster. Mothers, all of them, hoping to use their experience to help others. And Palmer says another thing she thinks will help is for leaders here in Portland, those in government working to try to help our youth, she says work with other communities in other states, bring new ideas here that are working elsewhere. She says it'll also give kids a chance, Jeff, to see other kids in other areas that have made it out and have a different option. Great story, Chris. Thank